Hello, Rob Watson here for Decentered Media and Leicester Stories and uh, I've put a call out out on the Leicester Stories blog and website for we engaging in a project with uh, Professor Edward Cartwright at De Montfort University uh, which is funded by the Alan Turing Institute uh, to train some community reporters here in Leicester about artificial intelligence and what it means to live in a smart city. Uh, it's really fascinating now that I've started to think about what do we mean by a smart city and what do we mean by how artificial, what do we think are the ways that artificial intelligence will shape and um, you know kind of characterize our lives in the future. It's something that we kind of aren't really, it doesn't protrude easily into our everyday existence but it's, you know, I'm starting to look at things like bus timetables and Google Maps and, um, you know, stock, how things are stocked on supermarket shelves. They're all data uh, and manipulate, you know, da data, products of data systems uh, that are developed and designed on the basis of machine learning and things that are predicted about our future patterns of behaviour and I'm at the start of this process of understanding what it is about and how we can talk about it but um, we want to explore this in a bit more detail with just ordinary people and through using community radio and community media as a vehicle for engaging in conversations and discussions with people about what this might mean in practice as we engage in things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis in a city, a diverse city like Leicester where you know there is a, a, a multiple language there are languages that are spoken where there are people from many different cultural backgrounds and educational levels in some uh, to, to some extent are quite challenging um, and that the kind of employment practices that you know the, the employment patterns that are available to people are again very uh, uh, different from some of the national uh, uh, averages in terms of uh, pay and skills required all those kind of things so what do we mean by a smart city in that context so a community reporter is somebody who doesn't necessarily have uh, professional journalistic skills although that might be something that they uh, wish to develop uh, but you're really kind of interested you know how your community works you know how to talk to people you know where uh, people are what they're doing what they're about and you can engage with them and you can capture a little bit of that using uh, media I don't know you, you might use a smartphone for example to record a conversation or to make some observations, you might take some photographs. Uh, we'll train you on how to use audio recorders in order to be able to uh, do things like talk to people and record vox pops and interviews, which we can turn into content which can be uh, shared with the community radio stations here in Leicester. Uh, so if you feel this is something that might be of use to you and you'd like to get involved and it's something that you can uh, maybe see yourself doing, there's two uh, things to do. First of all, have a look at leicesterstories.uk, which is the website uh, whereby we've done this before. So we've trained some community reporters last year uh, to help support the messaging and information provision for the census. And then also have a look at decentered.co.uk where I've written some things about how community reporting works and given a bit more information about the background to this and who's involved. Uh, but Leicester Stories is where we uh, aim to share our initial content and it's about, you know, kind of uh, finding a way for people to tell and share their stories in a way that is suited to their uh, needs and requirements and mode of expression. Nobody has to be a professional presenter. Nobody has to be somebody with uh, with vast uh, digital uh, manipula you know, media manipulations and editing skills. You kind of have to be a bit interested in the life of your community and you have to be interested in telling some stories about that. Uh, we've got funding to train four reporters uh, and that will hopefully take place over August and September which is when the project is running. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me and find out more you can do via Twitter and Instagram, uh, do it via at Decentered Media or via uh, at LEC Stories, L-E-I-C Stories. 
or if you want to contact me directly it's robwatson at decentered.co.uk uh, and the website for Leicester Stories is Lex Story, sorry, leicesterstories.uk uh, and the email address for Leicester Stories is info at leicesterstories.uk uh, but or leave a message on uh, uh, this video and we'll follow it up with you so yes uh, it'd be great to hear from you this has been Leicester Stories. If you want to find out more, follow us at leicesterstories.uk, find us on Facebook, or check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Lex Stories.